Okay, the, the ushers can lock the doors now, because some of these people have heard me speak. Yeah, you and you. Frank Lesseter was my best friend. He was once a river guy, and over the years, we were very close. If I had a problem, I could call on him. If he had needed advice, I was there for him. Well, one day in 1950, he called me, and he said, Ron, very excited. He said, I just finished the score for a new Broadway musical. I said, great, Frank, what are you calling it? He said, guys. I said, guys. He said, yeah, catchy, isn't it? <laughs> I says, Frank, I think it needs something more. He says, like what? Guys and dames, guys and chicks, guys and guys? I said, I think you'll have to wait 50 years for that. <laughs> but I know you'll get it, Frank. You will get it, because you always do. And he said, Ron, you're a doll. <laughs> Thank you for that. If you believe that story I just told you, I had a ski base in the Las Cruces, I want to tell you. But Frank Lesser, uh, I never knew him, I wish I had, but I admired his body. He wrote some of the great songs. Now, Lesser grew up in New York City. His father was a concert pianist uh, teacher, but Frank liked pop music. So he started to play in, in small clubs around New York. He would play piano, he would sing, and then he started to write lyrics. Well, in 1936, he caught a break. Five of the songs were put into a new Broadway musical. Unfortunately, the musical folded, but with the exposure he got, he got a contract from Paramount Pictures, and off he went to Hollywood. And the first song that he got into a movie was called Moon Over Manicure. And Dorothy Lee Moore uh, sang it in the movie Hurricane. He then went on to write over 60 uh, songs in over 60 films. <coughs> Clear your throats, please. <coughs> uh, and he worked with great composers, including Julie Stein, Jimmy McHugh, Hoagie Carmichael. During World War II, he was uh, in the Army and Special Services. And he wrote the, uh, the great wartime hit, Praise the Lord, and? Pass the ammunition. God bless you. <laughs> uh, now, among his hits that, that many of you will remember, I think, are I Don't Wanna Walk Without You, Jingle, Jangle, Jingle, The Ladies in Love With You, On a Slow Boat to China, Spring Will Be a Little Late This Year, They're Either Too Young or Too Old, Too Sleepy People, what are you doing New Year's Eve? Heart and soul. Heart and soul. I thought that was for people who didn't know how to play the piano. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Well, apparently made a lot of money with ding, ding, ding. But perhaps his biggest hit was, Baby, It's Cold Outside. And he wrote that for the movie Neptune's Daughter, which starred Esther Williams and Ricardo Montalban. I love saying Ricardo Montalban. The other people in the film were Betty Garrett and Red Skelton, and you're in for a terrific treat, because the lens of sparing no expense is going to show you two clips from that movie. In the first one, Ricardo Montalban is pursuing Esther Williams. In the second one, Betty Garrett is pursuing Red Skelton. So here now is Frank Lesser's Baby, It's Cold Outside. That was so cute. Wasn't that adorable? That was terrific. Well, Frank liked it. He won the Academy Award for it. Uh, but for, now let's talk about his plays. He wrote uh, five Broadway musicals. Where's Charlie in 1948? Guys and Dolls, which won seven Tonys in 1950. The Most Happy Fella in 1956. Uh, and that was a tough one because it was a combination of a Broadway play and an opera. Now, if you haven't heard that score, you're in for a treat, because I'm going to sing the entire score. <laughs> it runs an hour and 37 minutes. You have to go to the restroom. Do it now, please. I'm the most happy fellow. Everybody in the hall. Oh, never mind. Okay. 
1960, he wrote a show called Green Willow, and in 61, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. That one won another seven Tonys, plus the Pulitzer Prize. Now I'd like to give you a sense of what Frank Lesser was really like, his persona. So once again, the Lenzik, I don't know how they do it, but I'm sparing no expense, is going to show you a clip. It's a little grainy, a little old, but it's from 1950. Frank Lesser on the Faye Emerson show. Now I'm way too young to remember Faye Emerson, but some of you might have. Uh, oh, one thing, she's wearing sunglasses in this, and I don't want you to be distracted by it. Uh, she had pink eye, apparently, the day of the taping. But here now is Frank Lesser, Guys and Dolls had just opened, and he's being interviewed by Faye Emerson. So let's roll that if we can. Thank you. So that was Frank. Frank could be a little tough, by the way. He was noted for having a little bit of a temper, but he could also be very charming, as you just saw. Now, where does Frank Lesser stand in the pantheon of, of American music? Well, let's take uh, the great American songbook. Now, on one hand, you have the, the gods, the, the people who sit on Mount Olympus. You have Jerome Kern, you have the Gershwins, you have a, Rogers and Hart, Rogers and Hammerstein, uh, Cole Porter. But right beneath them, not too far from the gods, you have such talents as Julie Stein, Howard Lord, Leonard, Lerner and Lowe, Duke Ellington, Billy Strayhorn, Johnny Mercer, Harry Warren, Dorothy Fields, Yip Harburg, Sammy Kahn, and Frank Lesser. Now think about this. Of all those talents, only three of them, Irving Berlin, Cole Porter, and Frank Lesser wrote both words and music. Oh, one other thing. Uh, Frank, well, he married twice. He had four children. He was 59 when he passed away in 1969. Oh, and one other thing. Frank was a very astute businessman. He formed his own publishing company early on because he knew when it came to writing songs, the real money is in the publishing rights. So he had his own publishing company, and people like Meredith Wilson used his publishing company. And that's it. That's probably more than you ever wanted to know about Frank Lesser, but there it is, and I thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Open those doors, yeah. Because now get set for a real treat. We have another great town, a terrific musician. You can see him every Friday and Saturday night at Pranzo's. And now it's my pleasure to introduce my best friend, <laughs> David Geis. Let's hear from Ron Bloomberg one more time. Yeah. Mr. Lenzig for inviting me to be here this afternoon and to help celebrate this beautiful performing arts center. It is one of the most beautiful places you'll ever hear great music in. So I have put together a nice medley of songs to celebrate and to get the ball rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, we're off to the races. Mm -hmm. 